Because when a grasshopper hits the water, the first thing it does, it kind of sits there and then it kind of jiggles a little bit and you just want to make it look like that. This does that too. You, you uh, look for little fish surfacing and uh, when you see it, you just get opportunistic. He thinks he's being opportunistic. So you take advantage of that. Like that one right there. <laughs> but that black perch right there was just waiting on something to swoop down. Just kept jiggling it on top. That's the big thing with the crick hopper and the big hopper, especially in the summer. Just got to be real patient with it. Fish it real slow on top and then uh, you can start cranking it. It was designed to be a topwater bait first. It's got that big old lip designed to throw water, but the lip also makes it dive so it can be used as a crankbait. But it really is an effective dual purpose lure. You can kind of walk it, you hold your rod up and kind of twitch it and you can see it darting back and forth. You can kind of pop it in one place like a popper. You can uh, almost kind of work it on the surface like a wake bait, hold your rod tip up, and then if you just want to crank it, you know, you hold your rod down and you can crank it. But there's really no wrong way to fish it. Just kind of jiggle it, pop it. If they don't come up and hit it, just start swimming it. And a lot of bass fishermen disregard it because it looks like a little insect. You know, sometimes you just say, boy, I'd like to throw a top water, but I'd also like to have a uh, crankbait uh, to work under the surface and there's not many baits that are really effective doing both and this this is one of them.